Hi everyone. So um, this video is called, is about changing directions. And that means changing directions of your YouTube channel. And I believe it is perfectly okay to change directions of your YouTube channel if you find out that you're you're not being um, satisfied with the results you're getting from what you're doing, or you're not satisfied with the content that you're creating. And that is what I went through. Um, last week, excuse me, but sorry, I need to apologize. I was um, busy with some other things that I found is a passion. Well, I've always known that it's a passion of mine, but I was busy doing, working on that and building and starting a YouTube channel for that, that I didn't take time out of that to post my weekly uh, progress. So I apologize for that. And today is going to consist of last week and this week. So um, I think it's perfectly okay to, to change directions of your YouTube channel in the middle of things. Um, I, my channel, that's my gig, is focused on travel channel or travel videos and travel slideshows. And I'm going to continue with that, just not as much as what I have been. Um, I have been getting some results and views. I just haven't been getting I, almost nothing on my subscribers. That's not the total focus of or the total reason of why. I am changing directions. I am changing directions because my passion is sewing. My passion is making handbags and handbag accessories. I have had a business um, called Grammar Genie's Creations since 2020. I have sewed, sewn many, many handbags and accessories for women in this area. I do vendor shows. Um, I have a website. Currently, my website is down because, or it's not down, it's just on hold. I kind of took it off of, it's not be, it's not active because I have a hand injury. I have no income coming in except unemployment, and I can't afford to, for the maintenance on that website. So, I asked my web developer to suspend it until I get back to getting an income again so I can get that website back up. So in the process, um, I found a pattern designer of handbags that is willing to give me a chance and sponsor me so that I can make sewing tutorials of handbags and put them on, attach them to her Facebook group and also put them on my Grandma Genie's Creations YouTube page that I've, I, I have had since 2021 with absolutely no activity. Now, the reason why there was no activity on that is because I made one video. It was an unboxing of some scrap vinyl that I got from a, um, a vinyl supplier. And I just... It... It was fear. It was my fear that I didn't think I was good enough to make sewing tutorials. I didn't think anybody would watch them. I did, and I also did not have somebody to sponsor me saying, yes, it's okay for you to do YouTube tutorials on my patterns. I since have gotten that, and I made a three-part video of a sewing tutorial on my Jan Grandma Jeannie's Creations YouTube channel. So I'm hoping that I will be able to get that up and running, that there will be more activity on that YouTube channel, but I am going to keep my That's My Gig uh, travel um, video YouTube page also. I just won't be updating things on it as much because right now I'm not doing any traveling. I'm just doing videos of what's in my area, things to see in my area. I have like two more videos to put together, edit, and post of our trip to the Eleuthera Bahamas 
over spring break and then I won't have any more travel videos until I get back to work and can start traveling again. It'd be more satisfying for me to do the um, Grandma Jeannie's Creations YouTube channel and focus, make that my main focus because that is my passion. So to sew, I have always wanted to show people how to sew that it, that's another one of my passions um so and it will help my business too so that is where i have decided to direct my path with youtube and again i'm sorry i didn't post a progress video last week i will be doing one this week this will probably be a a short video shorter than most um, but I just want to encourage you that in the middle of your YouTube journey it is okay to switch your direction your content it's okay to do that if you find out the niche that you're that you're working on right now isn't really a niche for you it's not satisfying to you you may be doing it for all the wrong reasons it's perfectly okay to switch. I mean, it's your channel, it's your channel. And if you start in another direction and you get uh, more and more videos on that new niche, um, your old videos can stay on there and maybe somebody will, you know, come along and watch those old videos too. I mean, if they like you enough, they're gonna start looking through everything that you've done. They wanna see what, where you started with your videos. So it's perfectly okay. I would not, I encourage you that if you are finding yourself in a doldrums, that things just don't seem right with the niche that you're doing, I encourage you to look deep inside yourself and ask yourself, what is my passion? What do I like to do? What can I help somebody with? And just go for it because I think it would be very, very rewarding for you and you could um, make a go of it. So don't let changing direction hold you back. So with that, I am going to get into my analytics. I'm going to go over to my computer and because I'm in my sewing room right now, this is my, my comfort space. <laughs> so I am going to go over to my um, computer and I will see you over there. So this is last week's analytics. I have green marks every, on everything, so that means everything is up. I have 60, gained 60 views, 2.0 watch time hours, and I gained one subscriber. So I currently have four subscribers on my, that's my gig channel. Now my overall, since I started in April, is 1800 views 47.1 watch time hours and four subscribers so everything has gone up i think this is very good i'm very pleased with that so let's look at the 28 days since i can't get last week's so for the past 28 days everything is still green which is good all my arrows are up see here it says i have five subscribers so there's probably a subscriber that hasn't been counted yet probably got them just within the past couple hours so it hasn't been added to my analytics so i have 692 views eight watch time hours and i gained two subscribers so and i got a total of five which is, I'm happy with the green, everything's going up, so that's, that's a good thing. Growing slowly, but that's still a good thing. Progress is what's important. So, um, let's look at my Grandma Jeannie's channel and see what's going on there. Let's get out of here. Get out of the, and let's go to analytics. So my first three videos, I posted three of them on Friday. I posted one at midnight Friday, um, one at six o'clock 
in the morning Friday and the third one um, at 8 o'clock. I scheduled them like that because I knew I had to have three videos because they all three go together. So I wanted to stagger them out so I didn't get any strikes against me. And I haven't checked this since Friday evening. So I have five subscribers here. Woohoo! Because I only had two Friday. 55 views, 4.2 watch hours, and well, that says plus plus three because I had two from a year ago, a couple of years ago, and I recently got three subscribers. So this channel's doing pretty good, and within the last 48 hours, I have had 20 views. Awesome, that's awesome. Within the last, well, seven days because so since my channel started, I'd have to do a lifetime because I've had it since. So 146 views, 11.6 watch time hours, and five subscribers. So that's not too bad. And see these three videos here, they all go together. So, oh, looks like I need to address my comments. <laughs> this was the one down here that uh, I posted that on, on April 7th, 2023, so a year ago. So that is that. So even if this channel grows slowly, that's not my, my main goal is not to get the viral video or anything like that on any of my channels. I'm just looking at progress and I am looking at doing what I am passionate about, what satisfies me, what I know I can help somebody with, which is sewing. That may sound ridiculous to some people, but to me it doesn't. And there are many, many sewers out there. I mean, if you go and you look on my page and or my channel and you see what I wrote about um, my description of my channel. It's sad that over the years sewing has become a lost art so to speak but if you really search the social media platforms you will notice that there are still many many women and men in the sewing community which impresses me some there are some gentlemen out there that are better than some of the women sewers that I know and I think that is just awesome I commend them on that so just take the time to visit my channel and see what it's all about along with my that's my gig channel and that is my progress report for this week I will see you next Sunday. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.